I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Who's in charge of things around here? Truthfully, everyone except us. But officially, Abbot Peter. And soon enough, someone else. As if it mattered. Our life will still be work and prayer. I see. Are there any rifts between the brothers? Yes. From the moment talk began about electing a new abbot, it's been like a hornet's nest here. Strange you haven't noticed. Tell me something about electing the abbot. Abbot Peter is old. When he dies, they'll have to select a new abbot from amongst the brethren. The candidates are John and Nevelas. And if you ask me for my opinion, Nevelas is definitely the right man. Unfortunately, no one cares about my opinion because novices get no say. Tell me something about life here. Work, prayer, work, prayer. As if you didn't know. We serve God, and that's the central truth of our lives. Who's in charge of things around here? Truthfully, everyone except us. But officially, Abbot Peter. And soon enough, someone else. As if it mattered. Our life will still be work and prayer. Are there already candidates to be the new abbot? Brothers John and Nevelas. But the others have been fighting like dogs because of them. We don't have to fight about anything, though. This John, who is he? A circator, and really just an unpleasant old man. It's mostly the older brothers on his side, because they believe he'll protect the status quo and all the benefits that come with long service here. Tell me something about Nevlas. Nevlas manages the monastery's property. He's what they call the provost. He'd like to bring back solemnity to the monastery, through reform and by returning to pure faith. A lovely idea, but most of the monks are against it. Why can't novices vote? They say we don't have enough experience to decide about anything. Don't worry, we'll get our chance. Why is who wins so important? We're young and we'll spend the rest of our lives here. And the abbot decides everything about our lives. Didn't it ever occur to you how powerful he is? What are the roles of the various monks here? Someone takes care of the library, someone else the garden. The abbot supervises everyone, and in his absence, the prior. But it's the circators you should worry about. They're the brothers who'll make sure we observe the rule. They can be quite strict, so if you want to avoid getting punished, always act righteously and do your duties honestly. It occurred to me you might be the man to ask. I'm looking for some lockpicks. Do you know anyone in the monastery who could help me? Lockpicks? You surprise me, brother. And you, a nobleman's son. But you could ask Brother Solarius. They say he used to be a thief. Who would you choose as the new abbot if you could? Why should I even think about that when I don't have the right to vote? Gregor, don't go poking your nose into other people's business. You'll sleep better at night. This is the way to the dormitory where we all sleep. You'll find a free bed there, which is now yours. Do you know the first thing the monastery taught me? To appreciate sleep. We rise before dawn every day. Takes a bit of getting used to. This is the garden, a place for silent contemplation and meditation. Centuries ago, this monastery was founded by the most esteemed of brothers, St. Procopius. His earthly remains can be found in a cave under the monastery, and his spirit wanders the corridors at night, punishing any misbehaving novices. <laughs> so beware. Here are the Fratery and Scriptorium. 
together with the library. These are the places where we work. Ora et labora. Pray and work. As a novice, you must always listen to your superior brethren. And above us monks are the prior and the circators, who punish every infraction. You'll know them by the canes they carry. Do what they say. This is the refectory, where we come together to eat. During meals, you must be silent. Only one brother reads aloud from the rule of St. Benedict. The rule is the only law we recognize, with the exception of those from God himself. If you break any of its precepts, expect a swift punishment. But I've already told you about it. The library, the pride of our monastery, a trove of learning. We don't just read books here, we also copy them. You too will learn how. And that's all. Today you are still free from duty, but tomorrow you begin work like the others. If you need anything, ask any of the brothers. We'll be glad to help you. And I recommend you get to know the other novices. You already know me. Then there is Siskin, Yodok, and Lucas. Thanks for showing me around. There's a lot to learn here. I need to make a confession. I'm no priest, but tell me what you've done. It's probably nothing to worry about. I'm here in the monastery looking for a thief. He had a hand in burning down the Neuhof stud. You don't say. And who are you to take such an interest? The one who's going to find him and kill him. You want to kill him here, in the monastery? Are you mad? You can't just show up and play the angel of vengeance on sacred ground. Do you think you're entitled to met out justice? Who gave you the right? I'm sorry, but I don't want to have anything more to do with you, Gregor. You're a lunatic, and the prior ought to be warned about you. If you so much as open your mouth about this... Then what? You think you can threaten me? You'd better watch yourself, Gregor. You don't know me at all. I'm Gregor, a novice. Servus. I saw you at the ceremony. I know. It was hard not to notice you. And you are? Lucas, also a novice. Don't get upset, but I don't want to talk to you. I'm happiest alone. I'd like to know something about the other novices. I don't know much, but ask away. Tell me about Antonius. I'd like to, but there's nothing to tell. I've never spoken to him. I've never asked about him. I'd like to know something about the other... I don't... Tell me about... I'd like... You really don't know anything about anyone? Well, thanks anyway. Don't get upset. I'm sorry I can't tell you more. I just haven't felt like getting to know anyone yet. Will you tell me something about yourself? I... there's nothing I can tell you. 
I mean, where you're from, what sort of life you had before, that sort of thing. I'm a novice, and my monastic name is Lucas. Nothing else matters. Come on. Is there really nothing at all you can tell me? I could, but I don't want to. I'm sorry. I want to stay focused on work and prayer, not on who I once was. I never will be again. What has been isn't important for us. We cast the past aside when we walked through the monastery gates and took our oath. Never forget that. Will you tell me something about yourself? I... there's nothing I can tell you. I mean, where you're from, what sort of life you had before, that sort of thing. I'm a novice, and my monastic name is Lucas. Nothing else matters. You see, I'm looking for someone here. You're looking for someone? But you're a novice, aren't you? I am a novice. At least until I find the man I'm looking for. Why would you be looking amongst monks? You know, the laws of man aren't valid here. In the cloister, we're subject to divine law, the law of the church. I'm looking for a footpad who's hiding out here in the monastery. He had a hand in raising the Neuhof farm. He's taken many lives. Aye, I heard something about that. But why are you telling me all this? Because you could help me. It has to be one of the other novices. That can't be. Have you told the prior? What are you going to do to this man once you find him? Talk to him. Then I'll see. Do you have any idea which of the novices could be the imposter I'm looking for? I don't know, and I don't care to know. I wish you'd never told me. Now I won't be able to sleep at night. There's something I should tell you. Something secret. I'm looking for someone here in the monastery. You're looking for... I am a novice. Why? I'm looking for a... I... Because you could help... That... Talk to... Do you have... I... If you could, who would you vote for to be the abbot? But I can't vote. So what's the point of worry? Ask Antonius. He often talks about it, and I'm sure he has an opinion. I'm Gregor, and I'm new here. I know. I saw you in the church during ceremony. I have the feeling we'll be meeting again soon, and often. You see, I'm the circator. What does that mean? I make sure everyone observes the rule, does their work, and that everything's the way it should be. And when it's not the way it should be? Then we're authorized to met out punishment. But certainly you won't require correction, will you, brother? I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Who's in charge of things around here? Abbot Peter is the administrator of the monastery, but you won't see him. He's always traveling, and on top of that, he's old and infirm. Perhaps the good Lord will bless him with many more years of life. And what happens when the old abbot dies? Then we elect a new one. Are there any candidates to be the new abbot? Yes, there are. Brothers John and Nedlas. Cursed elections. Since the brothers began talking about them, there's only been strife in the monastery. On one side are brothers who'd like to see John as abbot. On the other, those who support Nevelas, and they seem to be capable of fighting about it forever. Tell me about John. John is the circator and the oldest brother here. It would be only natural if he took the crozier from Peter. He has experience, merit and composure. He'd lead the monastery wisely. I'd like to know about Nevlas. Nevlas manages the monastery's property. He doesn't have the most experience, but his drive and heart are pure, his faith firm and his ideas rational. Although perhaps he's too keen to change our routines here, which many brothers don't like. Why does it matter so much who wins? Because the future direction of the monastery hangs in the balance. The younger brothers feel they have to work more than their superior brothers and that some brothers are more concerned with their own comfort than with worshipping God. The older brothers take a different view. 
They say the younger monks want privileges they haven't earned, and each side has its own candidate. I thought politics weren't part of the monastic way of life. You are right, but we know nothing besides the monastery, and the abbot's decisions can influence our entire life. Some of the brothers take it very personally. Are there ever any disagreements between the brothers? Unfortunately, yes. The biggest quarrels right now are about the election of the new abbot. They can already see poor Peter in his grave. Tell me something about electing the abbot. The old abbot is practically on his deathbed. There are two candidates. Half the monastery wants John, the other half Nevelas. And there's no chance they'll come to an agreement. But you've probably already noticed the atmosphere around here. Tell me something about life here. Prayer, work, obedience. That just about sums it up. Can you tell me something about the rule of St. Benedict? Seven centuries ago, St. Benedict of Nursia wrote a collection of monastic rules, which we still follow today. They're read at every meal. The fundamental precepts are obedience, work and prayer. We're fully devoted to serving God. The outside world beyond the monastery walls is foreign to us. Do you never want to know what's going on out there? And what should be going on? The sky is just as blue and the grass is just as green. Perhaps the rulers change, but the greatest ruler of them all will remain unchanged through the ages. I'm interested in the monastery's history. It was founded by St. Procopius 500 years ago. After his death, heretics occupied the place for some time, but then the order was restored and brothers of the truth faith returned. Heretics, you say? They wanted to worship God with some foreign rituals, in a language foreign to God. They were driven away and their books burned. What are the roles of the various monks here? Well, the abbot is the head, but he's not here now. Then there's the prior and the sub-prior, the librarian, the porter and many others. As a novice, you should be particularly mindful of the circators. They're the ones who maintain discipline and punish bad behaviour. What can you tell me about the novices here? What can I say? You're here to demonstrate your devotion to God and to live a monastic life. After a year, you can make your vows and become a fully-fledged brother. I meant something specific about the brothers that are here. But you know them yourself. Yorick is an odd one, but he's diligent and eager. Perhaps too eager. Siskin is good company, but a bit too worldly for a monk. Antonius is hard-working and will help with anything, but prays less than he ought. Lucas is as quiet as a mouse and no one knows much about him. And then we have you, about who I know nothing. Can you leave the monastery? Where would you go? You have everything you need here. Anyway, all the doors here are closed and locked tight so no one can get in or out. Who would you like to be the new abbot? I've thought long and hard about it, and I've decided to support John. No, no. Peter has a strong constitution. He'll still be on this earth for many years to come. I wish all good health upon him, but I want him. What troubles you? I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Salve. Be well. Praise be to Christ, brother. I know you're pious. The man I've been looking for. So you're finally sure? Tell me, Gregor, or Carl, or whatever your true name is. What do you want to do now? I don't know. I'm not sure what I should do. Well, at least you're prepared to think and not just play bloodhound for a pack of nobodies. And I'm glad you have your doubts. I don't want to be like the people I'm looking for. 
If I have to kill, it should be for a reason, not because I enjoy it. You know, we're both pawns in someone else's game. They have plans for us. But we don't have to let them use us. We can just forget all about it, and go our own way. I, I was a bandit, and I was at Nyhoff. I've robbed and stolen, but I swear to God I've never in my life slain innocent people. What I saw at Nyhoff made me realize my life was worth shit, but I still had a chance to change for the better. Here in the monastery I've had plenty of time to think things over, but then you showed up and fucked it all up. So the evildoer changes his ways and finds God. And what exactly are you proposing? Both of us can leave this place. You can go back to your people, and I can go somewhere where I can live out my life in peace, and no one will try to kill me. If we work together, we can both get what we want. You're right. But the people who sent me will find out if I don't kill you. They won't if we're clever about it. No one has to die. Before we make a run for it, we'll make it look like someone's killed me. Loads of blood, a tattered scrap of my habit, and footprints leading towards the river. No one will bother looking for my body there. There we'll split up. You go for your bounty, and I'll get as far away from here as I can. Good. Let's do it your way. Good. I'm glad that despite our initial discord, we could reach an agreement. Here, take something to calm your stomach. Now we'll need the keys to the monastery and some blood to make the tracks. What are you going to do? I need to get ready for a long journey. Prepare supplies, get some normal clothing somehow, that sort of thing. You can escape in that habit, but I need to vanish as fast as I can. What do I need the keys to the monastery for? How else will we get out? This place is practically a prison. Getting the keys won't be easy. I know, but Brother Solarius is a reformed thief. I'll bet he still has a few lockpicks lying about. If you know how to use them, they'll be worth finding. Or there's the hard way. Steal the keys from the prior. He carries them with him at all times. They both sound hard to me. But needs must. And where am I supposed to get my hands on blood in a monastery? You'll find a parchment in the kitchen with a list of ingredients on it. All the things they're ordering. Add blood for making soup to the list. And when it's delivered the next day, take it before anyone notices it's even come. All right, that's everything I need to know. I can get started. Excellent. Come and see me once you have everything. And try to be as fast as you can. And Gregor, thank you. Brother, where were you during Mass? Don't tell me you didn't know that Holy Mass is the foundation on which your life here is built. You're right, brother.
This is your first warning. Don't do it again. Here, the prophet showed us. Just at times, to refrain even from good speech. So much the more of the part. Peace be with you, brother. Even though it be for good. of the superior, it should be asked with all the humility and submission inspired by the Lord. But as for coarse jests and idle words, the words of natural laughter, these be condemned everywhere under a perpetual ban. And for such conversation we do not permit a disciple spoken mouth to mouth. The rule of the infirmist, readings on the spirit of silence, let us do what the prophet says. I said, I will guard my ways, that I may not sin with my tongue. I have set a guard to my mouth. I was mute and was humble. The punishment for sin to make us avoid evil words. Even though it be for good, holy, edifying. For it is written in much. I'm Gregor, a novice. I know. I saw you at the ceremony. My name is Neblus, and I'm the provost here. I'm in charge of the monastery's property, as well as handling trade with the outside world. That means you get to leave the monastery? No, not at all. I just write lists and send them out. But as for coarse jests and idle words, or words that move to laughter, these we condemn everywhere with a perpetual ban. And for such conversation, we do not permit a disciple to open his mouth. Greetings, brother. I'm Gregor, and I'm new here. Greetings to you, brother. I'm Yodok, the oldest of the novices. I hope you'll like it here in the monastery and that you won't get into trouble. Trouble? You're young, perhaps intemperate. You might easily stray from the rules of the order. I suggest you get to know the older monks. You never know when it might come in handy. Talk to me, brother. I'm looking for something a little um, unorthodox. And what would that be exactly? I'm looking for lock picks. Lock picks? And what would you like those for? I'd like to practice opening locks. Just for the fun of it. Well, why not? So you heard I used to be a burglar, did you? I put it all behind me as soon as I took the vows. But I do have a few lockpicks left. I'll trade them for food. Get me a bite to eat, and you can have your lockpicks. Can't say fairer than that, can I? For those 
of heart of hearts and we are one. What would you like? Brother, I've a favour to ask, and I think you're the man to help me with it. Or you used to be, before you came here. I see. So it's the dodgy sort of favour, is it? Well, yes. I need to get hold of the keys to the monastery. Hmm. That won't be easy, I can tell you that straight off. The prior always keeps the keys close by him. So how exactly do you imagine I could help? Could you take the keys off him? Rob the prior? You've got to be joking. You wouldn't be doing it for free. Then what could you possibly pay me? I'm done with my thieving, and you'd have to offer me a whole lot of groschen to change my mind. How much would you want? A princely sum, brother. This is no trifling matter. That much? Where am I supposed to find that much coin? No one here has any money. Precisely. But no groschen, no theft. And think twice before you ask me that kind of favour again. Praise be to Christ, brother. I'm looking for something a little, um... And what would... I'm looking for lock picks. Lock picks? And what would... I'd like to practice... Just for fun. Pull the other one, brother. Glory what troubles you? I'm looking for... And what... I'm looking for lock picks. What's it to you? Peace, brother. There's no need to get all worked up. So you heard I used to be a burglar, did you? I put it all behind me as soon as I took the vows. But I do have a few lock picks left. I'll trade them for food. Get me a bite to eat, and you can have your lock picks. Can't say fairer than that, can I?
Praise be to Christ, brother. I'm looking and I'm looking for lock picks. What's it to you? So you heard I'll treat. What do you desire? Will be soon solved. It's a wonder Prior doesn't check everyone's breath in the morning. Then he'd soon get his man. Spirit of Son. 
brother. What are you doing here? You're right, bro. This is brother. Si You're right, bro. Very. While I was locked up, someone was making quite a racket in the cellar. Blind drunk, I'm sure of it. I wonder what's been going on. Novices have no business here. What troubles you? I have everything we need for the escape. Excellent. Straight after Vespers, we'll meet in the dormitory. We'll have to get it all done before the monks have finished dinner. What exactly is your plan? And why can't we do it at night? We're going to prepare a little riddle they'll never solve. And why at mealtime? Because we need the dormitory as well as the church to be empty. Then at night we'll escape. Do you follow? Take everything with you and don't forget the keys. Good. Once evening mass ends, I'll be in the dormitory. You was very well. Peace be with you.
praise be to God. For a moment there, I was worried you weren't coming. Give me that blood. This is the exact spot where you pushed me off the gallery. And here's where you dragged my lifeless body. Thank you for helping me out. Now we must each go our own way. Well, I can't just let you leave. You're a criminal. What are you on about? Did you really help me escape just to betray me? I'm truly sorry, but you were there at the Neuhoff massacre and you're a valuable witness. I'm taking you to the bailiff. Gregor, you can't be serious. I thought I won't be taken anywhere. I'd rather die than lose my freedom. Ergot. You'll get what's for. I slaughter you! to the bailiff. This is one of the men who raised Neuhoff. He should be able to tell you something useful. But I need to ask a favor. I need you to keep him out of sight so his accomplices don't know he's been caught. Fine work. And I'll do as you say. I'll find a deep, dark hiding place where no one will hear me interrogate him. And while we're at it, I'll have your things brought here. Wait here a while. <laughs> 